So, I know uh, because we did a showcase, and I know everybody's been saying the concert is a little short, but it is supposed to be short. This is a showcase. So, but then I decided I wanted to do a Q&A because it's a showcase. Yeah. This intimate, and then talking, there are Q &A. engaging. Yes, I wanted to get to know you guys, and I know you guys have a bunch of questions, so Dan over here is going to pick who asked the question and I'll answer them. Yeah? That is a lot of power. All right, so. Yeah. Dan the man. I saw uh, you were holding your hand up very patiently. Let's let's get the question. Yes, please, yeah. Hi. Uh, okay, I just wanted to know, what was so hard to put the very yourself? The hardships, huh? Yeah, go on. Oh, no, no, I just had Okay. She asked, uh, what were some of my hardships I faced during my solo period? Hmm. I guess, I guess the biggest hardship is kind of like so much pressure, right? Um, whatever I decide, uh, we, we kind of go with. And then that decision is just made by me. So I can't blame my, oh, it was Hajim. <laughs> it was Leo, I can't do that. So uh, I guess that's like the, yeah, that's the one thing for sure, yeah. Thank you. All right, good question. Very patient, we like that, the patient hands, all right. Let's go with somebody in the back, right here in the black, please. Yes. Behind Wolf. Okay, so uh, th thank you for asking. That's been like it's been like what five, five, four years? No, it hasn't. Maybe like three years. <laughs> it feels like it was five years ago. I wrote those songs like five years ago. Um, but Wolf, right? It's like the same thing with moths, kind of. I think Wolves, they look very scary. They're like wild animals, They're and puppies. people are like, when they, when you see a wolf, you're like, ah. <laughs> but wolves actually, um, they're very romantic in a way. They look at the moon, and they, <laughs> so sensitive, right? And they always go around in packs, right? So they're like a community, like for the group type of animal. And I, I think that's the animal I like the most as well. So that's why I call it a wolf. It was my first introduction to my solo career. Great questions. Let's do one from over on this side right here, up in the, uh, um, yeah, let's do you. Let's go. All right. Is Rose going to be starting in 2023? No, 2022. <laughs> Separately, right? Like, I'm like sending it to them, and then they're sending it to me, and it's like a, a lot of back and forth. But I'm gonna be there soon. You, you guys saw the Korean show day, right? So why I decided to end in Korea is because I'm gonna spend time with the Rose, and we're gonna write songs and finish our album, and, and then start traveling together. Let's see what it is. All right. Hi. <laughs> oh, um, creating music, what's the process like internally? What does it feel like? It feels like, uh, for me, it's like healing as well. I get my feelings out and I kind of get over whatever I'm feeling. And for what I, when I do put it out though, like you asked, what do I want you guys to feel? That's like up to you guys. I always say like, that's yours. <laughs> I'm writing it and I, I feel a certain way about it, but when I put it out, it's like you and whatever you're going through at the time and you get fitted to whatever you like, I don't care. Yeah, so yeah, of course. Nice, these are some really creative, well thought out questions. Um, let's go with right here. You're in the red. Sure. Yes. Oh my God. Take your time. My 
favorite song to perform live? Solo, one each. Oh, God, solo modern life right now. Woo! Um, with the rose. Right now, I really want to play sorry. That's your favorite song? Nice. Can I sing it? Sorry now tonight. It's so easy on your mind. To look yourself so sorry. We love to see it. We'll do one more over here and then we'll move over to the other side. Uh, sure, we'll do the woman right here, please. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh wow! You train wolves. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, thank you. I, I'm glad we can connect through wolves. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tennessee. Is that where you're at? Tacoma. Oh, that's so beautiful. No, thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah. Tacoma. I would love to see Tacoma. And and thank you for training wolves. I mean, that's beautiful. Yeah. I'm not. I'm realizing I'm not even recording it. Wow. Time. All right. So we'll go one on this side. Um, let's go with you in the back, right there with the hat. Yes, please. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, that's what I like to hear. Community. <laughs> Black roses. Yeah, go on. Sorry. <laughs> one second, one second. Oh, okay. So, Ooh, so I have this thing, like, it's not really, like, anything crazy. Uh, when I do hear sounds, I do think of sounds if I do want to think about it. It's not like you say something and I'm like, oh, yellow! <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing like that. Um, but I could put color into sounds, and she asked me what I think of the roses' colors are. And I, I don't know if this, I don't know what came first, but Leo is red, Jeff is pink, and Hajin is blue. Mm. But that's their rose colors. You guys know that? Yeah. yeah. So. Honestly, like for me, that's how I feel, and and there's a reason. Leo is very passionate, and we we chose these for a reason because Leo's color fits red. He's so passionate. He's always on point. Um, Jeff, very romantic, very soft, sensitive. Pink. When he when he talks, he cares, and he's very very like vulnerable in a way. And then you know, Hajin, he's crazy. He's mysterious. Uh, he's very mysterious and like. A dark, dark blue fits in like very, very well. Yeah, that was it. All right, we're gonna do two more questions. Uh, two more questions. We'll go in the middle right now. Uh, let's go with you in the back right there with the sunglasses, please. Yeah, yeah. Hello. What was that? Can you say your name? Yeah, say your name. Onyx. Oh, like the Pokemon. That's so cool. <laughs> No, I don't. It fades. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I knew too. Uh, no, it keeps fading. So usually uh, during tours, right, I'm very, um, very careful. So I do the show, go home, sleep. Uh, the next day, if we do have a travel day or an off day, I wouldn't talk much, and uh, usually I wouldn't like overfeed myself. So then my stomach acid kind of ruins my voice. So like, there's many things. Uh, I I'm very sensitive about that. Because I want to give the same like 
condition good show like every show that's only fair right so um yeah but honestly with the rose it's harder because our songs are way higher than my solo songs <laughs> all right uh we'll do one more question one more question uh we'll go up here in the front and um yeah we'll go with you and the, you with the nice hair thank you um i just wanted to say thank you for your mindset collection it really helps me a lot and I was wondering if you've ever considered doing a second season of it. Second season of Mindset, will I ever do it? Of course, like, I think it's too early on though. <laughs> and when the first one came, like, the, when I did the first one, I haven't changed much since, <laughs> since, like, since now. <laughs> so maybe uh, later in the future, maybe. Um, I do love my Mindset collection too. If you haven't heard it, go listen to it. I talk about a lot of my personal stuff. Um, but the second one, maybe not yet. Yeah. Cool. All right, well thank you, everybody make